everybody, Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Tuesday, February 26. The winds have finally died down. We have a good bit of sunshine, still chilly temperatures with a fast racetrack. Let's take a look at the fourth and seventh races today. Fourth race of Maiden Special Weight going a mile. The program likes number six, Square the Circle. Four-year-old debut for this horse coming out of the John Service Barn. Has just one career start as a three-year-old back in July. Was down at Gulfstream Park. Was a eight to one that day and finished a pretty well-beaten fourth and has had time off since then. I like the inside horse here, number one, Muda Robin, who was uh, coming with the always tough combination of Michael Sanchez and trainer Mike Pino. One start here at Parks of this company, despite being five wide, ended up finishing third, getting beaten by only a length. Does show some good numbers in the past. Now, last time out was up at Aqueduct and got caught up at a duel and uh, then uh, kind of faded toward the end. But I think from the inside post, Muda Robin has a chance to sit a great trip today. The outside horse number eight, Successful Cure, is coming out of the sprint races and I think has a chance to make the lead. But other than that, there really is not a lot of other early speed in here. And I think with the uh, early foot that Muda Robin has from that inside gate, should be able to get up in a good early position, maybe able to sit a stalking trip behind that sprinter, Successful Cure. And then again, make the bid uh, again, uh, hopefully without losing a lot of ground for that inside gate at 3-1, to one, the morning line price. I'm going to go with number one, Muta Rabbit. Now, the seventh race, a waiver claiming race. Uh, horses in here for 10,000. They'll be going six and a half furlongs, and I do like the program choice here. Number six, One Tough Angel. This was an $8,000 claim by trainer Roger Brown, who continues to do a terrific job here. And George Perez, who has been on board for each of the last two wins, will be back aboard today. Now, working back up the claiming ladder here is one tough angel, has beaten Lesser Company in each of the last two starts and has shown the ability to rate in each of those last two races that I think has a chance to rate here again today. If you go back through the past performance lines, One Tough Angel has been competitive and has beaten this level in the past. In fact, won for 10000 at Monmouth last summer and again kind of dropped down the claiming ranks and is on the way back up. The last two races have been outstanding after having a little bit of a break over the holiday season. Two for two here and I think the race ups sets up well and I think the numbers look to be in her favor as well. Race number seven, let's give the call to number six, One Tough Angel. Good luck.